Hi everyone, my name is Paul Baines and I created this Great Lakes Commons map to share all the work that's being done presently around water quality and water quantity issues around the Great Lakes and their associated watersheds and regions um, and also to invite all the wisdom that's out there for everybody else's perspectives and voices on what makes the Great Lakes important to them what concerns they have about the future of the Great Lakes and how we can start building a community of people who can start talking about and seeing the Great Lakes as one interconnected bioregion and as a commons. The, the map was is developed to sort of for us to think and feel and start acting in ways in which would improve and sustain and protect these waters. And I was particularly inspired by the work of the Council of Canadians and their work around water in general and the Great Lakes Water Commons in particular. This Great Lakes map is not only unique because it's asking us to reorient our position and perspective around the Great Lakes as a commons and as a bioregion, but it's also unique because it's, it is really collective, it is really collaborative. You or your community or your organization can use this map to mark what you think is important. Maybe it's a personal story. Maybe it's some research or some discovery you're doing in your educational environment. Maybe it's an event your community group uh, is, is putting on. Maybe it's some knowledge of a threat or as a success story of revitalization of what's happening uh, around the Great Lakes. Again, this could be a stream or a small wetland or, or the lake shore or any part of this bioregion. Okay? And so the idea of the map is itself also the idea of a commons and that it, no one particularly has all the wisdom and all the knowledge that is needed but by collectively and by pooling our ideas together and marking these things on the map, we can actually see the bigger picture of what we both share and also what we have to lose. So I hope you are now curious and wanting to explore the Great Lakes Commons map and think about how the Great Lakes are important to you and what role you want to play in their protection and long-term future. I would invite you to check out the community pages, which uh, list the kinds of groups and ideas that have inspired this project, especially the ideas of the Great Lakes Commons by the Council of Canadians, and the whole idea of the Commons in general. Um, check out the categories pages, which gives you a little bit more information on what each of the categories are about. One of those categories is about a bike tour in which from mid-June to mid-July, me and others are actually going to be cycling around Lake Ontario, collecting some of these stories about what's important for people when it comes to water issues and the water in general. And so if you'd like to sort of join us or contribute or invite us to sort of interview you or a place to stay, uh, please contact us through the website as well. There's also a submit a report page on the website and here's where you can not only find and locate um, your area of, of interest but also uh, add news stories, photographs and even upload uh, sort of videos uh, that again enrich and tell the story of, of what's important to you about the Great Lakes. So I invite you to consider submitting a report. You can also add comments to other people's uh, reports. Uh, adding more information, uh, enriching the dialogue. So there's various ways to participate in the Great Lakes map and hopefully this video has made you curious and wanted to explore it even further. Again, there's always a contact us sort of link and you can uh, send us a message to tell us what you think. And also find us on Facebook and find us on YouTube uh, where you found this video. Okay, so thanks for watching the, and please contribute to the Great Lakes Commons map and we'll see how all this evolves.